Durango Wildlands, the child of Studio Nexon, was released globally just a few days ago. It sees you thrust through a rift in time back to the age of the dinosaurs. Now in today's video, I'm going to be going over how to capture and tame your very own prehistoric pet. A hardened Durango survivor named Lamar will contact you on the radio and guide you to tame your first mount, a Zebraceratops. You do this by repeatedly attacking until the enemy is stunned. You then select the net icon. The faster you click the net icon, the more likely you are to succeed in capturing. After this, he will gift you with a taming pen. To make use of it, you will need to return to your tamed island, which is the island named after you, and it's also the island you first visit with a hot air balloon. It's always free to travel to your tame island. Once you return home, place down your taming pen and interact with it to add in the Zebraceratops. It will take one hour to tame and will be 100% successful as it's your first mount. As lovely as the Zebraceratops is, it does not make a great battle mount, and the speed is only slightly increased from your own. It does, however, boast a whopping 100 extra storage slots. You'll want to explore the taming skill set in order to get the best mounts available to you. The taming skill can be found under the survival category. The only way to increase this is to level up your character. Whilst leveling, you can practice taming by capturing and taming Zebraceratops and then selling them on the market. It's entirely optional if you wish to tame them before selling them. However, if you do, you'll be more likely to get a fast sale. From here on, you'll need to decide which type of mount you would like, or like me if you want to be able to tame everything you come across. However, I highly recommend advancing the capturing bipedal dinosaurs, as this will enable you to capture the oviraptor, which is a fast mount with decent damage that you will likely encounter on the second or third island you visit. There is also, of course, the normal raptor. Constructing a new taming pen on your island will have some benefits, chief among them is being able to tame multiple creatures at once. However, if you relocate to a clan base or a civilized island domain, then you will need to build yourself a new taming pen, and that will require two wooden planks, two nails, and three straps. It will also take 30 minutes to complete. Mount Rundown. For this section, I'm going to be assigning marks out of four for the different statistics for each of the first four easy to come by mounts, speed, health, and attack. The mounts I'm going to cover will be the Zebraceratops, the Raptor, the Oviraptor, and the Pictaraptor. First up is the Zebraceratops. Please note that these statistics will vary with level, however, I'm selecting teams that are all within a couple levels of each other. The Zebraceratops has a speed of 400, getting it a mark of 1, a health of 696, getting a mark of 3, and an attack of 35, getting a mark of 1, for a total of 5 points. The Oviraptor has a speed of 550, getting a mark of 3 points, a health of 506, getting a mark of 2 points, an attack of 41, getting 2 points, for a total of 7 points. The Pictar Raptor has a speed of 550, earning it 3 points as well, a health of 552, earning 3 points, an attack of 42, which gets another 3 points, for a total of 9. And finally we have the Raptor, with a speed of 570 it gets 4 points, a health of 806 it gets 4 points, and an attack of 66 it also gets 4 points, giving the Raptor a total of 12 marks. What this means is the Raptor is the best mount available to you in early game and can be tamed at level 30, which is easily achievable after a few hours completed tasks on an untamed island. Thank you very much for watching everybody, I do hope you all found this video helpful. If there are any other aspects of the game you would like to see me cover to this same format, then let me know in the comments below.